Hey, what is up mga buboy? Kira Matt Beast Friends back on our video. And today ngayong araw po ay isang example naman tayo ulit sa shear in moment diagram using the shear moment equations method. Let's go! So yun mga bis na example number 3 na tayo, ibig sabihin may example number 1 at number 2 na. So pwede nyo i-check yung dalawang yun kung gusto nyo ng mas marami pang examples at mas detailed na examples, mas detailed na explanations, I should say. Okay? So let's go. So ito yung problem natin. So solve. So you can post the video and try it in your own and check nyo na lang sa dulo. Skip nyo at tingnan nyo yung sagot kung tama. So kung hindi... Uh, balikan nyo ulit, panoorin nyo Tapos huwag kayong skip ng ads Thank you <laughs> Alright, so Dito na tayo mga bis So ito yung ating problem Okay, so first First, always no Solve natin yung reaction So cantilever beam siya Naka-fix support siya So it means it has a vertical uh, su reaction support At saka bending moment So draw natin yung free body diagram Yan Ito yung ating free body diagram Tapos draw natin yung load dito May load down na 200 pounds Tapos, meron daw dito na concentrated moment, which is counterclockwise, which is 400 pounds feet. Yeah. Tapos, syempre ito yung fixed support, ay, fixed support natin. Na. Andito yung ating uh, vertical, yung support natin, yung uh, vertical reaction. Let's name that, since this is A, let's name that RA. And meron din tayo dito yung uh, uh, bending moment. Okay, bending moment which is, uh, let's name that, MA. Okay, so yung mga assumptions pa lang ito, ah, mati-check natin yan when we solve for our uh, reactions. Okay, so let's start. Let's solve for RA. Wait, lagay ko pala yung dimensions. Thus, that is 5 feet. That's 5 feet. Okay, so uh, solving for that, let's start with the summation of forces along the y direction para masolve natin yung RA is equal to 0. Assuming yung pataas is positive dash. RA pataas, so positive minus 200 pababa. So negative yun, is equal to 0 does. RA is equal to 200. And since positive yung nakuha nating sagot, tama yung assumption natin. That's how you will check. So kapag naging negative to, ibig sabihin mali yung assumption natin. Balik tarin mo lang yung direction yan. Okay? Next, punta naman tayo sa moment. Okay. So the summation of moment, so saan yung gagawin nating reference point? Hmm, dito. Dito lang natin gawin yung reference point at A. At A is equal to 0. Assuming na clockwise is positive. Okay, so simulan natin. We have MA. Our assumed uh, direction is clock, ano to? clockwise. Tama. Clockwise, so positive. MA. Tapos, ang RA hindi na yun matter kasi uh, 0 yung perpendicular distance niya sa reference point. Nakadiretso na dyan eh. So, wag na yan. Yung 400 pound feet natin, mga bis, is a concentrated moment which is counterclockwise. So, negative. Negative 400 pound feet. Tapos, alright, so since counterclockwise siya, negative. Okay, so, next, uh, 200 pounds. So, yung 200 pounds natin, mga bis, no, is, uh, it will create a clockwise or counter. Since ito yung reference point, kapag ipupush yan ng pagganon, it will create a clockwise. So, positive yan. Plus, 200. So, ano yung perpendicular distance niya? Punta sa ating reference point. That's 5 feet, 5 feet. So, 10 feet in total. Okay? And that is equal to 0. Thus, solving for MA, substitute natin sa kabilang sign ng equation. This will be positive 400 minus 200 times 10 is 2,000. Thus, our moment A is equal to negative 1,600 pound feet. Okay? So, yeah. We, since negative pala since negative yung ating moment na nakuha ibig sabihin mali yung assumption natin dito thus ang tamang direction niyan should be the other way around which is pag ganun dapat dapat counter clockwise siya di ba okay okay na tayo doon so delete na natin yan dinan natin yung kailangan control delete all right so first step since na solve natin yung reactions ngayon i we need to decide kung saan natin puputulin yung ating beam yung ating biga Sabi ko nga sa ating pre earlier video, previous video, tama, S, S, is, kailangan nating hanapin kung nasan yung limits. Kasi yung pagkakat natin ng section is in between limits. And ano ulit yung limits natin? Limits is kung saan may mga concentrated loads, concentrated moments, or yung mga endpoint ng ating varying or distributed loads. So since dito, meron tayong concentrated load, may point load dito, tapos may reaction dito, in between this Limits, no? Isang limit to isang limit, isang limit. In between those, kailangan natin magputol doon. So, since dito, in between sa dalawang to, magpuputol tayo dito, putol 1. Tapos, in between dito, magpuputol tayo dito, putol 2. 
Okay? So, okay na tayo dyan. Ngayon, let's now proceed sa ating first na putol. Let's draw the free body diagram. Tapos, ilagay natin yung mga involved na external forces. We have here, our uh, 200 reaction force. Tapos, uh, counterclockwise na movement, which is habal ha, magnitude of 1,600. And then we now put our uh, internal forces dito yung hinanap natin, di ba? Kasi nga, mo, sure in moment equations yung gagamitin natin. We name that's V1 kasi sa unang putol. Kaya V1, kapag pangalawang putol, V2. Ganun. So next is yung ating bending moment, okay? which we name that M2. So uh, this value again, this uh, length pala, mga Bs, no? that's unknown, X. So kasi hindi naman specific kung saan natin pinutol dito, eh. okay? So let's name that x. Now we are now ready to solve for our shear mo shear shear equation and moment equation. Let's start with shear. The summation of forces along the y direction is equal dito sa ating shear uh, equation shear sa ating shear force dito sa ating internal shear force dito. So that's v1. Assuming yung pataas is positive. So v1 is therefore equal to 200 lang naman yung meron. So 200 pounds lang yung andito. Okay, mga bis. Now, next. Uh, punta na tayo sa ating uh, moment. So, sa summation of moments, yung always palagi, yung ating reference point is dito, ah, sa kung saan natin pinutol. So, P, which stands for putol, is equal to M sub 2. Assuming na yung clockwise is positive. So, we have our 200 uh, newton, 200 newton, 200 pound force dito, mga bees. It will create a clockwise moment kasi ito yung reference eh. Pupush niya yan, ikot yan ng clockwise. So, positive. Tapos, ano yung perpendicular distance niya papunta sa ating reference point? That's x. Next, itong 1,600 natin na uh, moment. It is clockwise or counter? It is counterclockwise. So, negative. Minus 1,600 is equal to m2. Okay? So, lagay ko lang yun sa right para hindi weird. Okay? M2 is equal to yan. So, this is our moment equation. Mga bis moment equation, sure equation. Now, we need to find the values ng specific values ng ating shear and moment sa ating limits dito nga sa part na to. Kung ano yung pumagit na sa putol natin. Yung part na to. Sa A. So, let's name this ano uh, C. Okay? Let's name that C. Kasi yan, at A and C. So, let's make a good table. Yan. Pangit. So, that's A and C. We solve for V, the shear, and the moment using the equations we have made. So, dito sa ating shear equation, 200 pounds lang siya. Constant, which means at A and C, constant rin siya. So, let's put that 200 and 200 din ito. Dito sa ating uh, moment equation, meron tayong variable na X. And what is this variable X? Again, that is the length papunta dun sa putol. Now, kapag yung putol natin is, is at A, the value of our X is definitely equal to 0. Kasi kapag andito yung uh, putol, walang value yung x, di ba? Tama? Next, kapag andito yung putol, nasa C, it will be equal to 5 feet. So, the x is equal to 5. So, what we just need to do is substitute sa ating uh, moment equation and dissolve for the values of the moments at A and C. So, so, doing that, first at A, which x is equal to 0. 0 times 200 is 0, obviously. Minus 600 is negative 1,600. Next, at uh, point C, x is equal to 5. 5 times 200 is uh, 1,000. 1,000 minus 1,600 is negative 600. Okay. So, okay na tayo dyan. Hindi na natin kailangan to. Ito lang yung kailangan natin. So, delete natin yan. Pak, 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 pak. Alright. Next, tuloy natin. Dito na tayo sa pangalawang putol. Palagi, draw the free body diagram. Pak, pak, pak. Tapos, we draw the reactions. 200 yan. Tapos, Counterclockwise yan na may value na 1,600. Tapos, meron tayong concentrated moment. Kasi dito na yung putol eh. So, makukuha na lahat to. Which is a value of 400 pound feet. And, yeah. Wala na tayong kailangan. And this value is 5 feet na yan. Pero yung buo has a value of x. Okay? So, yung next na gagawin natin ngayon mga bis is to solve for the shear equation. So, the summation of forces along the y direction is definitely equal to our dito pala. Nakalimutan akong ilagay. And dito yung V2 na natin, yung internal shear force natin. Tapos, yung ating moment 2. 
dito sa pangalawang putol is equal to V2 assuming na yung pataas is positive so the summation so V2 V2 is equal to ano ba yung mga vertical forces ito lang naman 200 di ba 200 pounds wala nang iba yung ito 16 tsaka 400 moments yan it's it's not a vertical force so yeah, wala diyan may include okay next sa ating moment equation the summation of moments along P which is the putol palaging ito yung reference point palaging yung sinasabi is equal to M2 assuming na yung clockwise is positive So, ano ba yung mga moments dyan? Simulan natin sa 200. Itong 200, mga bis, no? Uh, it will create a uh, counterclockwise. No, clockwise. Kasi pag ganun, di ba? Ito yung reference point, eh. So, clockwise yan, i-code. So, positive. 200, tas ano yung uh, perpendicular distance niya? It's X. No? Tapos, meron tayong 1,600 na moment. Moment na yan, ah. So, no need to multiply any distance. It is counterclockwise, di ba? Counterclockwise yun. So, it is negative. And we have here 400, which is uh, counterclockwise rin. So, negative is equal to uh, M2. So, ilagay natin yung M2 sa banger para hindi siya weird. So, yan. Yan yung ating moment equation. Simplify lang natin. That would be equal to 200x. 16 minus 400 is negative, 200, negative 2,000. Okay. So, ito yung ating value ng ating M2. Alright. So, ngayon, gawin ulit natin yung table natin. Pak, 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 pak. Ang liit. Pangit ngay. Teka lang, ayusin ko. Ha? Yan. Gwapo. Dito, ang limits naman natin kung ano yung pumagit na sa 2 is C and B. So, D plus will be C and B. And we are solving for V and M. Okay. So, ano ngayon yung value ng ating C at P? First, ano ba yung X natin dito? Ang X natin dito at C is equal to 5 feet. Diba? Kasi this, C, uh, X is a distance mula dito. Sa dulo, papuntang putol. So, kung sa C yung putol natin, that will be 5. Kapag sa B naman yung putol, magiging 10. Okay? Now, let's just in, uh, use our shear and moment equations dito. Ang V2 natin is 200 pounds. So, since it's constant, at C and B, it's also constant. So, let's put that 200 and 200. Dito sa ating moment equations, we have our variable X. Now, at C, at C, ang X natin is 5. So, let's just substitute the values. 5 times 2, 200 is uh, 1,000. 1,000 minus 2,000 is negative 1,000. At B, at B, mga B, ang X natin is 10. So, multiplying that, 10 times 200 is 2,000 minus 2,000 is equal to 0. So, okay na tayo dyan. Pwede na natin itong i-delete. Since nakuha na natin yung values na to, ito yung gagamitin natin, mga B, no? ito yung gagamitin natin sa pag-draw ng ating shear and moment diagram. So, this time, gagawal muna ako ng lines dito. Okay, so let's start. So, this is at A, no? A yan, tapos C yon tapos B. Okay, so ito yung ating loading diagram. Dito natin ilalagay yung ating shear. Dito ang ating uh, moment diagram. So, let's start with our shear. Ito yung mga V, di ba? So, first at A, nasa 200 siya. So, from dito, 0 yan. Pumunta siya. Let's say this is 200. Yan. Tuma siya. Tapos, at C, pumunta siyang 200. No? Dito. So, hindi siya nagbago. Straight line lang yan. Constant. Yan. Straight yan, ah. Hindi ko lang kasi mag-draw ng straight. Tapos, mga bis, uh, punta na tayo dito sa second table. At uh, C, mga bis, no? at C, 200 pa rin, hindi nagbago. And at B, 200 pa rin, hindi nagbago. So, diretso lang rin yan. Kasi at B, 200 lang rin. Eh. ba So, let's just connect a straight line over there. And, napunta. Like, zero. Okay. Ayun, mga bis. Punta na tayo sa ating moment diagram. Sa ating moment diagram, kung makikita nyo, nagsimula siya sa negative 1,600. So, nasa baba siya. So, teka lang. So, since nasa baba, itaas ko lang to para guwapo tingnan. Yan. So, nagsimula siya sa baba. So, from 0, from 0, no? Nasa baba siya, negative 1,600. Let's say yan. Yan. Ito, negative 1,600. Yung units pala niyan, mga bis, no? Pound feet, ito, pounds. Okay? So, dito, next, dito na tayo sa 
at C, naging negative 600 siya. So, umakit. So, sabihin natin na ito. Hindi pala to drone to scale, ha? Baka sabihin nyo, mali-mali yung drawing ko, eh. Hindi siya drone to scale. Okay. So, dito, negative 1,600. So, ano yung line na pang connect natin dito? Tignan natin. Mag, yung line na pagkukonect dyan will be based upon the shear. Okay? Kung ano yung itsura ng ating... Uh, line sa shear doon yung magbi-base kung ano so kung ano yung degree nito dapat tataas lang na siya isang isa so kapag straight horizontal sabi nga natin yung degree niyan is 0 so it means kapag 0 sa shear kapag pupunta sa moment magiging 1 kapag 1 sa shear kapag pupunta sa moment magiging 2 parang tumataas lang ng isa okay so since ito 0 pag pumunta dito magiging 1 and pag 1 yung degree straight line lang yan so we will connect this using a straight line Kapag how if how if maging 2 yan, ano dapat yung curve natin diyan? Ano dapat yung line diyan? Dapat magiging curve, di ba? Pero since it's 1, it will be a straight line, okay? Yeah. Kung kung nagka-encounter ko ng mga problem na kailangan ng curve, you are wondering if dapat bang pag ganun or pag ganun, you can check my previous video, yung example number 2 na discuss ko doon ng detail kung ano yung uh, curve dapat na gamitin natin in different situations, okay? Pero this time, dito muna tayo. Teka lang, sana ako dito. Okay, so continue natin. Next, susunod, susunod dito is, dito na tayo sa ating second table. At C, bumaba siya ng negative 1,000. Joke lang, 600 to ah. Negative 600 pala yan. At C, bumaba siya ng negative 1,000. So, dito ulit yan. Sabihin natin na dyan. Yan. Sabihin natin that's negative 1,000. Tapos, pumunta siya sa papuntang 0. Okay? So, yan. Yun. So, that's at 0. So, ito po ang ating, pwede nating i-shade yan. Yan. Pwede rin natin itong i-shade para, yan. Ito po yung ating shear di loading diagram. Shear diagram. Ito yung ating moment diagram. So, yun yung makukonclude natin dito. Pwede natin sabihin na the maximum shear is 200 pounds and the maximum moment is negative 1,600 pound foot, pound feet. Okay? Kasi yun din naman yung target natin. Ginagawa natin itong diagram para ma-determine natin ano yung maximum moment and maximum shear in this 30 beam. Alright? So, para sa mas maayos na sagot, ganyan po siya. It looks like that, okay? Medyo messy talaga yung... Wal wala akong ruler. Sorry. So, yun. Ito po. Mas maganda siyang tingnan. So, ayan. Uh, thank you for watching, mga bis. Please like, share, and subscribe. Kung sakali may mga katanungan man, kayo kindly comment down below. At kung may mali man akong nasabi, please correct me down below and itatry natin yung iayos at itama para lahat happy. Okay? So, ayan. Uli, ako po yung bubuyin na nagpapalala sa inyo. Maglakbay, mag-enjoy, maglaro, manaliksik. Maging matinik. Jabi.